guys, my name is Nako Nakatsuka. I'm a fourth year chemistry PhD student at UCLA, and today I'll be helping you guys out by going over some general chemistry concepts. And good luck with the course. To conclude, some organic molecules possess one or more, which is indicated by N stereocenters, and thus several stereoisomers are possible, which is two to the power of N. Enantiomers and diastereomers differ only in the position of atoms in space. Unlike diastereomers, enantiomers display the same chemical and physical properties in an achiral environment. This is critical. This is only in an achiral environment. Because in the human body, which is a chiral environment, remember I mentioned how there's a lot of chiral or enantiomeric structures in the human biological body. Two enantiomers can be discriminated, producing different biological responses, because in this case, it's a chiral environment. So the reason why we had to convert from enantiomers to diastereomers in order to manually separate it in a lab was because we're performing them in an achiral environment. Your body has developed and it's such a smart system that it can just do all that already. And that's why in your body, you don't have to have something telling it every time to separate two different enantiomers, which is why we function so well. 